this video is about this video is going to be about what is sick of sound. Um, okay, so sick of sound is a blood disorder that affects mostly the minorities. It affects African Americans, Latinos, the Mediterranean, Mediterranean, <laughs> I can't get it. Uh, people in um, the UK have it. Uh, Greece, Italian, those, those uh, nationalities get affected by sickle cell. And it is a genetic disease. It's you inherit it from your parents. If your parents have the trait, if both parents have the trait, and they make you, you're going to have the disease. If one parent have the disease and the other parent don't, there's a 50-50 chance that you could have that a baby with sickle cell anemia. Um, excuse me. Sickle cell usually skips generations, so my mom had my sister first, and then me, and I have the disease, and my sister doesn't. Um, so it usually skips generations, and it is it affects the red blood cells. Instead of your blood cells being shaped as circles, they're shaped like sickles or um, bananas, hence the name sickle cell. And what happens is the veins, they get stuck in the, sorry, the cells get stuck in your veins and it causes blood flow blockages and that causes pain and sickle cell also causes organ damage and tissue damage also. And, um, it's about 100,000. 100,000 Americans that have sickle cell and and some that have the trait it's like 30% of the people have the trait and doesn't even know that they have the trait and you can still get tested for the trait please please get tested for sickle cell trait because if you fall in love with somebody and have a baby and you have the trait and don't know and this person have the trait and y'all have a baby you can bring a baby into this world with sickle cell and that is not it, you that'd be your worst nightmare is to bring an unhealthy baby in a world just like that this disease is not like any other disease because we are born with it and we will die with it so we will have it our entire life I mean it's other diseases out there like that I'm not saying that sickle cell is the only disease like that but I'm just trying to stress, you know. And um, what else? People die from sickle cell. You know, all the time. Like, sickle cell is not a death sentence. That is not what I'm saying. And sickle cell can't kill you. But complications of sickle cell, that's, that's what you could die from. Having complications from it. Um, but that's what sickle cell is. It's a blood disorder. And... You know, you have to drink a lot of fluids and stuff to, um, you know, be okay. You have to drink fluids, and people with sickle cell have to wake up almost every morning and take pain medicine. It's crazy, and it's hard, and it's difficult, and a lot of people don't know what sickle cell is. My own mom did not know what sickle cell was when she had me, and when the doctors told her, she was like, what the heck is that? And it kind of you know, makes me mad because even after she had me, she still didn't know. My mom didn't start asking me questions about sickle cell until I got like 17. And it was questions she should have asked me a long time ago because we probably would have had a much better relationship if she would have fully understand it, understood it while I was younger instead of reading. Because, you know, she was like, how come one day you can have 10 pain? and you can walk and the next thing you have 10 pain and can and and can't walk 
and I was like, the pain is different. You know, the pain is not always in the same place. And I swear, I wish she would have asked me that question when I was younger, instead of waiting until I was 18. Because it really would have made it better. And it made me understand why she thought that I was faking sometimes. Because one, one day you can walk into pain, next day you can't. She thought the pain was the same type of pain all the, all the time. Anyway, it's just hard. The disease is hard. It's, it's difficult because a lot of, it's doctors out there that don't even know what sickle cell is. You know, I've been to the hospital and they asked what it was. And I had to tell them how to do their job, how to take care of me. And then because they didn't know what sickle cell was or they didn't understand it, they thought that I was lying about the type of medications I'm on. It's crazy how, you know, it's people out there that don't know what this disease is and people die from this disease. This disease is horrible. And this disease has been around for a long time. And for people to still not be educated on it, I feel it's really ignorant. And the fact that if you go to school for nursing, you will spend so much time on cancer, learning about cancer. Your teacher will teach you like three months on cancer. And then when they get the sickle cell, they teach you that in like a day. And y'all might be like, oh, you don't go to school for nursing, how you know? Because it's nurses in my family, and they told me this out their mouths. So this is not something I make up. And then for the nurses that take care of us, for us, when we try and give them advice or tell them, oh, maybe you should do this or look into this, and they, oh, don't tell me how to do my job. I'm, this is my job. I'm a nurse. Da, da, da. Okay, sweetie. Okay, you know what? That's gonna be no. Um, okay, you might be a nurse. True that. And you might have been a nurse for 18 years. True that. But let me tell you something. I'm a nurse too. Now I've been, I've been a nurse for 22 years. This is my body. I know what I'm talking about. And I would really appreciate if y'all would just listen when I say stuff or when we say stuff because we're know we talking about just like you do. And to the left. Let's be fair, you've been a nurse for what, 22 years? Okay, if that's the case, even if you have been a nurse for 22 years, that means you went to school for nursing 22 years ago, which also means that you spent, you probably spent two minutes on sickle cell, probably no minutes at all, because I can imagine if they only spend a day or a week on sickle cell now in nursing school, like my cousin and my niece told me, then then they probably you probably all you did was write a paper you researched it and did a term paper for six hours that's all you've done and that was 22 years ago so you probably forgot you cannot tell me about my body or anything it's been times when i've been sick and weak and my chest was hurting and i went to the hospital and diagnosed myself and the doctors and nurses were like oh how you know you got that you don't know we we going on a test and it's just like it's been times when I said, oh, I got pneumonia, and I had it. It's been times when I said, oh, it feels like a acute chest syndrome, and it was. I know what I be talking about. Most sickle cell patients know what they're talking about. Please, if you're a nurse that's watching this video or a doctor, we're all not fakers, and I'm going to make a video about that. So we're all not fakers. We know, and it would. I would appreciate it if you just took time out to listen to us to what we're saying don't judge us just because you you looked at our charts and it said sickle cell on there don't do that we're all not the same yes it is some bad apples out there and i'm gonna make a bad apple video soon too but don't do that that's not fair to be judged because of what somebody else did okay that's what sickle cell is Sorry I got off the topic. So I guess this is two videos and one. I love you Facebook. Mm, Facebook. I love you YouTube and Sickle Cell family. Continue to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Charmaine Chevelle. But the Chevelle only have. Doesn't have an E at the end. I'm going to post it in the link. Okay thank you.